Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to dyno test some BL Heli 32 settings. Uh, I've always wanted to know what kind of impact these uh, settings actually had. So I built a dyno and tested them. So I'm going to share that information with you today. Uh, we're going to start off with the first one, funnily enough, and that is ramp up power. So let's read the instructions to see what it says about that. The instructions say ramp up power can be set to relative values from 3% to 150. This is the maximum power that is allowed when ramping up at low RPMs and during startup for low RPMs. The maximum power to the motor is limited in order to facilitate detection of low back EMF voltages. The ramp up power also affects bidirectional operation as the parameter is used to limit the power applied during direction reversal. During startup, the actual applied power depends on the throttle input and can be lower than the maximum level set by the ramp up power parameter but the minimum level is a quarter of the maximum level. All right, let's get straight into the dynos. Okay, so here are the dynos. We've got RPM over here, and we've got time over here. Uh, we've got two different uh, dynos overlaid on top of each other. We've got this set down here, and this set here. The difference being is the wheel weight, this is 27 grams, and this is 8 grams. Uh, this is with a 3S uh, LiPo and with a Brother Hobby 2205. And I'll put the other uh, ESC and whatnot in the description below. Uh, so I guess, not surprisingly, the lighter the wheel, the faster it spins up. Uh, and we see that the difference between the different ramp up powers is affected at low RPM, which is also not a surprise. Uh, you could say below 5000 RPM, well, you can definitely say below 5000 RPM. Changing the ramp up power doesn't change the angle of any of uh, any of these, uh, the ramp, the speed up, or the acceleration is probably a better word. At high RPMs, it just affects the low RPM, and it effectively delays it with a nice slow increase and then once it's finished doing that it then returns to a, rel a much quicker incline. So from this you can see that the difference between 150 and 125% is uh, effectively nothing or basically the same. I've got 125 sort of beating 150 but that's possibly if I did even more dynos and put them together, uh, that would result in them being pretty much the same. Uh, since we're talking about startup, there is this gap here. Uh, don't worry about that too much because my dyno can't pick up very low RPM rotation. Uh, uh, and also that has been normalized. There's actually quite a variance between when Bell Heli actually starts going. Well, it starts going, but once it gets into a place where it can actually start accelerating, so there is actually a variance. These have been normalized, so they're pretty much all the graphs have been put to the same starting point. I'll do an entire video probably on at the actual responsiveness and startup of BL Heli because that's quite interesting. Uh, from this graph, I guess, at least in this scenario, uh, you would say that you'd run at 125 slash 150 ramp up power. Why would you run anything less than that? Um, well, in my experience of actually using it, uh, 100 and 125 was not very good. I found that um, anything above 75%, which I think is this, this line here, Occasionally I would get real bad DMAG, like a very occasionally, like one out of every 200. But whenever that happened, uh, I presume it's happening at low RPM, it would then delay this and then the ramp up would come up like this. 
Now my use case is through Nerf flinging darts. I have two motors. I put a dart through uh, the flywheels or the brushless motors at high RPM, up here somewhere. And if one of these motors is massively delayed, then that's a big problem for me. And we had these occasional jams, and the jam occasional jams were resolved by reducing the spin-up power. Uh, I, I do believe that as we increased the S value, the problem became worse, and you needed to have less ramp-up power. So about 3S, I don't remember running, uh, running into this problem. However, I haven't run 3S for a very long time. But definitely 4S, we needed to reduce the... Uh, the ramp up power. However, there are other settings that affect uh, DMAG, so you know, it's a combination of factors. So that was the case with those settings. But in any case, this is specifically about this setting with the motor timing of 31 degrees. I'm going to have a video on that. Uh, and that is the effect of ramp up power. Alright, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. See you on the next one.